Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to do this transition from 21 Savage's Betrayed Music video. And before we get into it, shout out this person for recommending I cover this. So for this tutorial, you're going to need a video that you can use for an alpha track map. Now I've provided one of them for free down in the description below, but I have a pack of six of them that you can purchase for $5 if you want more variations. So go ahead and open up After Effects and what I've got here on my timeline are two different clips, one that I'm transitioning into the other. Now I'm going to click and drag into the composition, the expanding transition. The first order of business is to make sure that your first shot is on the very bottom of the layers. After that, I'm going to right click on our expanding transition and go to time, time stretch, 50. That way it will double the speed of that transition. I made all of them three seconds long, just in case you want your expanding transition to last a little bit longer, but you can always speed it up. So now I grab that expanding transition layer and drag it so that both that transition layer and our first shot end at the exact same time. After that, we're going to grab our second shot and drag it to the very beginning of that expanding transition. Just make sure that the expanding transition is on top of both of these layers. And then at the point where the expanding transition ends, on our second shot, we're going to hold Command and press Shift and D on the keyboard to split the clip. And now we're gonna drag that split clip up to the very top. Now on our second shot, the one that's immediately under our expanding transition, we're going to go to track mat and alpha mat it to the expanding transition, which in this case is called ink transition. And if you're having a hard time finding the track mat, then at the very bottom of your screen, hit the button that says toggle switches and modes, and then you should see it now. So now if we play this through, we can see how a basic version of this effect would look, but what we're going to do now is integrate it a little bit better to make it more dynamic. So what we're going to do is go to layer new null object and then we're going to select all of the layers except the null object and parent them to the null object. Now in the null object, open up the transform properties and at the very beginning of the composition, we're going to turn on the keyframe stopwatches for position, scale, and rotation. At the beginning, I had our null scaled up a little bit and the rotation increased a little bit. And then I went to the very end of our timeline and boosted the rotation and the scale and then repositioned it so that our subject's heads were in frame. Now just scrub through it real quick to make sure that your layers fill the entirety of the frame and you have no black gaps on the edge. Now again, select every layer except the null object and turn on the motion blur. And now this looks more dynamic, but let's get into other ways that we can customize this transition and make it even cooler. So I search in the effects for optical glow, which is from Red Giant, a third party plugin, but you can use any glow for this. The principle is the same. Now you can see on the edges, we have this blurry kind of muddy look and the edges aren't as hard which creates a pretty cool effect i personally really like how the glow looks with these transitions and you can continue to tweak the glow and that will change this look even further so something else we can do is add some chromatic displacement but first we're going to duplicate our expanding transition by holding down command and pressing d on the keyboard and now we're going to create a new adjustment layer and make sure that that is on top of all of the layers now search for the red giant effect called chromatic displacement and add it to your adjustment layer in in the effect controls, we're going to change the displacement layer to the duplicate of our expanding transition. For displacement layer alpha, change it to ignore. Now we can increase or decrease the displacement amount and you can see this RGB glassy distortion appearing as I do that. And then we can change the soften displacement or any of the other effect controls to further customize this look. And now it looks like we've got this crazy wormhole transition going on. And here's what the same transition looks like if we turn the glow off, but we keep that chromatic displacement on because you don't need both of them. You can't can have both of them, but it's not necessary. Now here's a difference between the normal transition and then the normal transition with the chromatic displacement and then the normal transition with the chromatic displacement and the glow. You can see in the first one, we've got hard edges. And then the next one, we've got that cool RGB chromatic displacement. And then the next one, that glow really blurs all of those colors and makes it look even more euphoric. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different ways you can customize this effect and make a really unique look. And again, you can get all six of those expanded transitions on my website. There's a link down in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.